Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, today, I know I said we're going to take a look at automations in our next video. However, I do want to go ahead and add in my existing lights as well. So what I will do today is we're going to go ahead and add in a my light bridge and add those lights in. So, so we'll just go ahead and take a look at how to add that into home assistant and then once that's added um if we have time we may look at some automations but i think that may be left over to the next video as well so with that said let's go ahead and take a look there we go guys so we're back in here um as you can see everything still looks exactly the same as it did last time the only difference is i did add um two mobile apps in here as well um we'll i'll show you how to do that in a future video as well so we can set up um automations according to if someone is home or not um so but we'll get to that um now for the my light so usually what happens was this used to be the cheapest option to get a smart controllable bulb instead of using a relay onto your light circuit you could have bought these bulbs and then you needed a bridge which is the my light bridge just a bridge that connects to the bulbs and then connects to your wi-fi network and then you'll be able to control them now i do have a few normal bulbs and then i also have some strips um, some analog RBG strips and as you can see they're quite yellow because they've been used uh, they've been on for a couple of years already um, but they come with these units so you have your channels in there so this specific strips has a white channel as well so they have RGBW which means they also have a white channel and they connect to this box and then we'll be able to control these um, strips as well as the bulbs that we have now i know a lot of you may not have this um, i think they do still sell them but with the new technologies that it's out i don't think it's necessary to go out and buy it because buying um, wi-fi bulbs are quite cheap at the moment so with that said um in order to add my light if we go to our configuration for example and we click on integrations and we click the add sign right here you'll see there is no option in here for that specific my light option now it is supported by home assistant it's just not showing uh, in here that we can quick add it so in order for us to add it all i did was i did a search on home assistant itself for my light and then when we're in here i just go down and you'll see that it gives us all the information of setting up and adding it to our home assistant now what this does is it's code that we add to our configuration.yaml file instead of adding it through the home assistant interface we just need to go ahead and enter in the back end and edit that configuration.yaml file and go ahead and add it in here so what it basically is it's a light so we add in the light the platform which is a limitless led and then we have the bridges so if you have multiple bridges you can go ahead and add in multiple bridges so one bridge is usually so one bridge is able to control four different zones now you can have multiple lights within one specific zone and then you can um, control those zones individually so right here we have the bridge then the host which will be the ip address of that specific host and then those four groups so we have group number one the name of that group so basically the location of those lights now if you do have these bulbs you already know how it works within the app you just go ahead and add, add those bulbs and select the channels one two three or four and then add the bulbs or the lights to that and once you've added it you can add this code right here to your home assistant and all you need to do is we can just go ahead and change the type of light if it's not an rgbw and then also the name of the specific number to the location that you have them listed at and that should be it now in the first already second video you remember i showed you how to access your configuration yaml file so you just open up hasio.local config 
and then open up your configuration.yaml file. Once that's open, it'll look something similar to this. We can go ahead and copy this code as is right here and just update the IP address of our specific bridge. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in here. And there we go. So I just added text in here that says it's my light and then added in that information. Now it needs to be exactly the formatting needs to be correct as well. So once you have all that information in here, you can go ahead and hit save. And then we need to restart Home Assistant. There we go. So Home Assistant went ahead and restarted. I just quickly plugged in this LED strip. So they are plugged into the controller, which is already set up within the My Light app. Now I'm not going to go ahead and do deep with this, uh, as I know a lot of you guys don't have it. If you guys do have My Light and you would like to know a bit more on how to set it up, I can go ahead and. Uh, give you some explanation in the comments if you get stuck somewhere, but it should be fairly straightforward setting it up. So I have that connected. So and we restarted Home Assistant. Now, in order to add those, we can just go ahead and configure the UI. Click on the Add, select the entities, and then right here you'll see we have the additional lights that we have right here. So I can go ahead and select the kitchen, which is all of my lights are currently connected to, or the specific strip. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and click on here and you'll see we can go ahead and edit that. Now with these strips, these are actually analog strips. So remember in the previous video, we set up digital strips. These are analog strips, so we don't have any way of individually uh, addressing each LED, but we do have the option to set a color as well as they do have a separate white. There we go guys, that's going to be it for this one. I know it was very short and just a quick, um, just to show you that I, what I did add, and I added my lights to have listed in my home automation. As I said, each time I add an item, I'm going to go ahead and make a video for you guys so you know exactly what I did, how to add those items so you don't get confused in the future. Um, it is fairly a quick setup. Um, if you guys do have any questions or you do make use of my light, you can go ahead and ask me in the comments below and I'd be happy to assist. So definitely in the next video, we'll go ahead and set up some basic automations and we can get started with that. With that said, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys. Um, remember, if you want more, you can just go ahead and hit subscribe so you'll be notified as soon as I upload. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.